I'm Katrina. I'm Hannah. We're eating our way around the globe, seeking out sustainable food and the people who make it. Come join us as we sip and chew for a better world. Let's go! Our sustainabilities. Wow. This is the wine episode. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Katrina. And we're here at Deerfield Ranch Winery, an organic and biodynamic winery in the heart of Sonoma Valley. Let's go meet some vintners and taste some wine. <laughs> I think I spilled too much last night in wine. Oh, wine. Honey, I think I spilled too much. Last night. Deerfield Ranch Winery is my family's place. I'm the operations manager here. Uh, my name is Addison Rex. My uncle was actually a chemist at Cal and he's always dabbled with cars and stuff. His crush drove an Alfa Romeo, which always was breaking down. And so he actually always repaired it for her as a gift. She gave him a winemaking kit. He made wine with it, entered it in the state fair, won first place that year. And ever since then, he's been making wines. It's really important to focus on organic winemaking, especially since a lot of it is things that we already do, but just by cutting out simple things like not using pesticides, there's so many alternatives in the wine industry. When it comes to sustainability, there's not a lot of regulations, guidelines yet. It's, it's not a very formal policy. So a lot of people like to talk the talk and I'm really proud of the way that we actually, you know, walk the walk and go there. It's supposed to be a closed ecosystem. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create soil health, promote soil health, that's essentially what it's about, by creating your own fertilizers. So what we do here is we're able to be biodynamic by recycling all of the grape waste that we have and make our own fertilizers, compost teas. We actually built a bioreactor water treatment facility on site and we're able to capture all of the water that we use to make wine here, which is considerable. And we're able to recycle 98% of it. We actually use it for irrigation. Instead of using a traditional barrel cleaning system that really just sprays it with hot water, we use a steam cleaner and we were able to reduce our water usage from 20 gallons to just four gallons of water to make one gallon of wine. It doesn't look too fancy, but this is the steam machine I was talking about. So basically um, these rods just go in the barrel and superheated steam. And it's just amazing how much less water it uses. If you, uh, if you ever check out one of the old traditional barrel cleaning machines, just sprays the water and it's totally ineffective. It's strange to me that you don't see many of these in the valley because they're just great. We get people coming over from different wineries wanting to use it. Last night and I asked you to marry me. Oh, but I'm sorry, baby, I already got a wife. Oh, I just like to tell a girl I love you. And I just like to make a girl feel special. And I just like to ask girls to marry me when I drink too much wine. You know, wine is a 24-7 kind of thing. Friends and family come and go, but alcohol is always here for you. This is do, Ben, do, by the way. He's pouring wine. Pouring star. So this is the first one. Uh, this is a White Rex 2012. This is a Pinot Grigio 2011. This is our Chardonnay. This is the Rosé. This is DRX. This is like having sex on a live bear. <laughs> you guys are doing a very good job drinking. We appreciate it. We have about 29 different vineyards that we have contracts with, so always trying to do the organic and sustainable thing. So, you know, they might not be certified to kind of get that whole bureaucratic little piece of paper thing going on, but as little mom and pop place, you know, it's like 10 grand, and they don't want to spend all that cash and stuff. So, you know, they're still doing it properly. They just, you know, the whole little piece of paper and stuff. There's been more of a demand for organic wine because producers have been able to get it right. And so people have finally realized like, oh, organic wines can be delicious also. I'm just gonna keep piercing the camera because I want to drink more. Sustainability is huge. I mean, we really, really do 
try to be good actors. This is a beautiful place. I mean, it's, it's, it's stunning. I mean, people come from all over the world to visit Sonoma Valley. And I think if you live here, you recognize that beauty. You're here for that reason. And you don't want to take any part in harming that. Clearly we had a good time at Deerfield Ranch Winery with Ben and Addison. We drank some delicious wines, learned about their sustainable practices, and if you want to learn more about Sustainabellies, check out our website at sustainabellies.com. Cheers! <laughs> right, but it's childhood and uh, alcoholism all rolled up in one. Oh, why? Honey, I think I spilled too much. Last night, or oh, I just like to tell a girl I love you when I drink too much wine.